Hello, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, We're the, the Crafty, Crafty Lumberjacks. Jacks. If you're like us, you might get bored of your space pretty frequently, but you know what? You don't have to spend a lot of money or work too hard to switch up your space for a whole new vibe. So today we're gonna to be taking this embroidery hoop and turning it into a hanging lamp. Let's, Let's get, get lit. lit on Handmade. <laughs> we practice. We did. <laughs> when thinking about your space, lighting can give you a really dramatic effect. And now you can get lamp kits. This is a hanging lamp kit we found online for just a few dollars. But lampshades can be really pricey. So we're going to be making one out of the embroidery hoop. Yes, I'm trying to get a word in here. Oh, sorry. I, had that <laughs> and we're actually, I know, uh, that was great. Thank you. And we're also going to be making our lampshade out of these uh, wooden paint stirrers that we found online. Um, they were super inexpensive and it came with a lot, which is great because we needed a handful. Uh, but before we get started, we just want to kind of sort through and see the ones that have the least amount of uh, warpness or bentness or splintering. Yeah, you don't want any warping, so... Yeah, what we like to do is the old uh, one-eyed willy eyeball trick yes. and just kind of look at it. And you can kind of see if there's any curve uh, happening there or if they're pretty straight. You know, and it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be really forgiving because we need a handful of these. So when they're all together, you won't be able to tell. Yeah, but uh, we're going to start sorting these out and then we're going to uh, paint them. Our embroidery hoop is 32 inches around and our paint sticks are one inch wide, so we need 32 paint sticks. All right, good. So we really want our lampshade to have this mid-century vibe with some natural elements. So we want to keep the color of the wood there, but we want to give it a little bit of a paint accent. So what we're going to do is uh, measure this right in half and they're about 12 inches long. So I'm just going to take some painter's tape and tape it right at the six inch mark. It doesn't need to be perfect, but we want it as even as possible. And we're gonna be working in sections here. We want to uh, mimic the style of a mid-century modern uh, lampshade. So we're actually gonna create like a stairway cascading effect. Yes. Um, so, you know, it's going to be very forgiving. It doesn't have to be perfect in this step. Yes, and it sounds fancier than it really is, a stairway <laughs> cascading effect. So we're just using a little bit of chalk paint, and this is a real neutral color. It's almost the same color as the wood, but we really love this, like, neutral vibe that's happening right now. And we really like using chalk paint because it's really easy to use. You really only need one coat with it, and... It always looks good. Yeah, and actually there's a whole video on Handmade with Marianne uh, and the woman who invented chalk paint. I know, I don't know if a sponge brush is really ideal for chalk paper. We should have paper. reviewed the tape. We should have, <laughs> but I think for a project like this, it's fine. If you were doing furniture, you'd probably want to go with something else. Marianne, don't judge us. <laughs> But even though we're going neutral, I think a pop of color would be really great. Like greens are really in right now. We talked about like a, a deep orange. Yeah, that's what's so great about these projects is you can totally cater it to your own style. Yes. Uh, you know, if you're into uh, pink or bright colors, go for that. We like things neutral. We're New Yorkers, you know, so we you know. like gray. We like black, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, so we're just keeping ours very neutral. Also, I think a lot of like neutral tones don't go out of style. That's true. And it's always nice to have a little bit of wood involved. I mean, you know we always like anything to do with wood since we are the lumberjacks, but also just have a little bit of that outside in is always nice, especially if you live in an apartment or somewhere with not a big outside space. It's always nice to just bring some of that nature in. While we're waiting for our paint sticks to dry, I'm going to start to create the um, structure or the drum of our lampshade. And for that, I'm using the embroidery hoop. Uh, the embroidery hoop is great because it's super inexpensive, really easy to work with, but I want my hoops to be the same size. Um, you can use two embroidery hoops for this and use the inside hoop, uh, but I'm going to use one hoop and remove the hardware from the outside. It's really easy. All you need is some industrial pliers there. I think you'll get more leverage if you um, keep your inner hoop attached. And we just want to carefully, carefully, because you don't want your uh, hoop to uh, bend or break. And we're just going to pull off the hardware from the outer hoop. And if your hoop does break, I think you'll be okay because we're covering the whole thing with uh, the, the paint stick so you won't see it. 
There we go. Wow. Yes, yeah, so now that we have our hardware removed, uh, you just wanna make sure there's no splintering or uh, you know weird pieces of wood. And we're actually gonna take some hot glue and just glue it together. And again, this is going to be on the inside, so we don't really- You're not gonna see it. Yeah, we're not too concerned about how it ends up looking. All right, our paint is dry, moment of truth. The big reveal here. Yes, all right, looks good. Looks nice and clean. If there are any parts you need to touch up, but you can sand down any parts you want. But again, it's gonna be really, really forgiving. So we're not too worried. So as Dennis said, we're gonna be doing a cascading effect and it's actually gonna be really easy. So we're gonna do them in groups of fours and then we're actually gonna take one of our paint sticks and use that to measure it. So we just want them going um, up about an inch. So I'm just gonna take my or I guess it's going down about an inch. There we go. And like that. And we're just gonna repeat that pattern over and over around the lampshade. But when we do this, we wanna make sure that all the paint is flipped over, just so we're not seeing the paint because we're gonna be gluing it on and what we're gonna be seeing is the inside, not the outside. Okay, so what we wanna make sure is that our hoop is at least, you know, here. You don't want it over here so you see the hoop from the outside. So you wanna make sure that it's uh, below the shortest paint stirrer. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and again, this is the inside so we can be nice and sloppy. So I'm, I'm placing the embroidery hoop right on top and I'm just gonna press it down with some pressure and let it sit for a second. Yeah, and you want to make sure that the paint sticks are as close together as possible. Yes. Um, you know, because we want to kind of uh, have that glow, but uh, not have the light come shining through. All right, so now I'm gonna take it and essentially just roll it. This was Dennis' idea to do the, the glue and roll, and I was a little skeptical, and I have to say it's actually working really well. Yeah. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna line this up with this one right here. So I can actually just take my paint stick and just use it as a guide. Like we keep saying, it's gonna be forgiving, so don't worry too much about it. All right, and then I can go from there. And just be sure, you know, we want the paint where we did the color blocking to be all in the same direction. Yes, that's uh, a good So you idea. just wanna make sure yep. as you're working, you double check, make sure it's facing the right direction, because, uh, you know, Although crafters make mistakes, we don't want to have to go back and redo our work. Should we check it? Yeah. Should we see how it is? It. All right. <gasps> cute. Oh, cute. Looks pretty good. Very Game of Thrones. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It's looking really good. It really we turned does. nothing into something. I can't believe it. So now we're just going to add our hanging light fixture. We're going to keep it really easy and just use two paint stirrers to do it. Right, and we're just going to glue this in. This is so great because it's very few materials and I think we're gonna have a nice little lamp glow up. As always, when you're working with wood and electricity, use an LED bulb, safety first. It looks Come on. so good. I yes. can't believe we uh, essentially turned um, nothing into something for under $10. I agree. What I love about this project is how versatile it is. You really could use so many different materials, so many paint colors. It also really did not take a lot of time. This took us about an hour to make and it really was inexpensive. Yes, yeah, so we wanna hear in a comment below uh, what small changes you like to change up your space and give us a like, subscribe, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon. Bye. Let's go hang this. Yes. <laughs>